much. Well, the community is in shock over what happened yesterday and the child rape case against pedophile priest Lawrence Hecker. Judge Benedict Willard suddenly stepped down after a year of overseeing the case on the morning of Hecker's trial. A WWL chief investigator reporter David Hammer was there and has the story behind the judge's controversial move. Benedict Willard was first elected as a criminal court judge 22 years ago, but his actions in two high-profile rape cases in just the last two months have led to calls for his ouster. I think that uh, he doesn't deserve to be a judge if he's going to allow his personal emotions and feelings to get in the way of his duties and responsibilities as a judge. Judicial watchdog Rafael Goyaneci of the Metropolitan Crime Commission. There have been incidents going back couple of decades with, with Judge Willard. And these are two of the most recent and most egregious uh, that are played out. The first recent incident was August 21st during the rape trial of Freddie Sterling. Court records indicate a male juror came on to a female member of the district attorney's office. When he was notified, Judge Willard ordered the DA's employee removed, calling her a, quote, distraction. The first assistant comes to court to defend his prosecutor because the judge said get that distraction, that attractive female, out of court in the middle of a trial. That Justice first assistant DA is Ned McGowan. A court transcript shows McGowan asked Judge Willard to put on the record why he ordered the woman removed. And Willard had McGowan removed. Ned McGowan calls the judge a coward as he's being removed from the court. The appropriate response, in my opinion, is that you remove that juror and appoint one of the alternates. The case ultimately went to the jury, and it was a hung jury. Then came yesterday. The long-awaited rape trial of pedophile priest Lawrence Hecker was about to begin. After a year presiding over the case and eight trial delays, Willard went after McGowan again for, quote, disrespect. Then the judge abruptly stepped down from the Hecker case. Outside court, assistant DA Andre Godin likened the judge's actions to Hecker's admitted abuse of his authority over kids. And now we have another person with authority uh, who has, through their decision on the morning of trial to make a recusal, caused a massive delay. Aaron Abair is one of Hecker's alleged victims. He, too, is frustrated with Judge Willard. He should have recused himself uh, a month or so ago when all this came up about, you know, held in the uh, D assistant DA in contempt. You know, this is just another method, uh, way of putting it, everything off. It's a way of the victims and survivors are once again hurt again. Abair wants Willard voted out of office in 2026. Goyaneci says that's hard to do if nobody runs against him. And in Willard's three previous elections, nobody has. I believe his conduct should be reviewed by the Office of Special Counsel with respect to whether he violated some of the judicial canons. I believe that his conduct is a violation of some of the judicial canons. David Hammer, WWL, Louisiana. How the Office of Special Counsel is part of the Louisiana Judiciary Commission. Its investigations are secret unless it refers the case to the Louisiana Supreme Court. In those four years since those cases were made public, there haven't been any against Willard. David asked the judge for an interview so he could give his side of the story. Willard said he was prohibited from doing it.